Hey guys, welcome back to RC Militia. Average Joe here helping out Jeremy and Jamera while they're out bashing their kits. I thought I'd take a few minutes to make a video and uh, well, introduce myself, but also I want to throw at the topic of uh, what is your favorite part of RC? What's the thing that you like to do the most when it comes to uh, you know racing your RC cars, bashing your RC cars? Do you like scaling? Uh, do you like flight? Do you like boats? Do you like building? Do you like painting? What is it that you like to do the most about this hobby? For me, you know, I took a bit of a break, 20 years, uh, came back and immediately got into racing. I have my own shop, I have my own track, and short course was the way to go, mainly because motorsports are my favorite, you know, one of my favorite sports, and short course racing like the Lucas Oil Series or the, the Traxxas Torque Series are two of my favorite things, as well, of course, rally cars, the World Rally Championship, and the Global Rally Cross. So naturally, uh, racing was where I like to be. I absolutely loved short course racing. Uh, you know, again, the rallies were absolutely amazing. And another thing I love is, is vintage cars. And of course, that's where my vintage Trans Am comes in. So for me, naturally, I first went to racing and I had a blast a good couple years. Um, but, you know, the competition started to, to really get into me and I started to, uh, you know, not enjoy the hobby as much. So I pulled it back and I wanted to find something that I really enjoyed more than just the racing. So uh, me being kind of a scale guy, you know, the fact that I love racing, ra the racing trucks and I love rally and I love Trans Am and stuff like that, I thought this is the perfect thing to do as far as the hobby itself because, I mean, here I've got my Timia uh, XV01 rally car. This thing here is a good scale model of what a rally car is and, of course, with the engine being on the front of the kit, um, it's great for drift, it's great for race, it's great for just messing around and I can do all three with that. So, I mean, that's, that's one of my more favorite kits. Here I've got my VTA car. Um, again, Vintage Trans Am is a great thing. I love watching the old school racing. You know, this one here is just a TC4 that I've got done up with a javelin body. Uh, I love the racing of this class on the carpet because of the fact that it is more of a spec class. Everyone has to have the same range of motor, 21.5, you know, blinky mode. So really it comes down a lot to the driver and your setup. Same tires um, and a small range of body. So this was a great race class for me because this this isn't a race class that you can win just by throwing thousands of dollars into your car. So when I do race, I still do like the vintage Trans Am, but even not racing it, again, this thing can make a good drift car um, or just a good play around in the parking lot car. They're, they're inexpensive and they're fun to run. But aside from the, the VTA and the drift car, you know, my favorite class right now or my favorite part of the hobby is my scale stuff, like my, my scale I'm not going to call it rock crawling, we'll call it trailing. I absolutely love my SCX-10 right now. Um, everything about this truck, it kind of embodies my favorite parts of the hobby. Your ability to make your own things, you know, because you don't have to buy everything when it comes to scaling with this. Making them is, is it's fun. I mean, I love making this stuff. Um, also, my favorite part of the hobby is just getting out with people. And with this thing here, typically we'll take six to seven to 19 guys, depending on what kind of group gathering we have, we go out in the bush and we'll spend eight hours on a hand, like maybe three battery packs and we don't break any parts, you know, and you just, hey, look, there's a rock pile. Can you get over it? Hey, look, that's a, a challenging mud pit. Can you get through it? And, uh, you know, it, it makes it a lot of fun because it's, it's more of a social aspect. The competition isn't there other than, you know, for pride points as to who could get through the mud pit without having to get towed out. So it is a lot of fun. As much as I love my XV01 and my VTA car, this is the kit now that I spend most of my time with and most of my money on. <laughs> and you know, you don't need to upgrade these kits, but I do. Um, and you know, right now I'm getting ready for the, the Recon G6 that's coming up. We've got Brian Parker coming up to uh, Ontario, Canada, which is where I am. Um, to run our first Canadian ever G6. So I've got this thing all set up with all my different uh, scale things that I have to have. For this event, we have to have 10 scale items, so I've got them all on there. Um, the only thing I have left to do is just remount my Pitbull tires once I get my Crawl Innovations foams in, and uh, I'm ready to go, ready for the event. And the great thing about the Crawler guys is that they insist that you're a part of the event, so you can really, really take part of everything that we do. So. You know, that's just a kind of a glimpse into how I feel about the hobby and what I love about the stuff that I'm doing. What is your favorite part 
Um, do you like just painting shells? Do you like just building and upgrading? Or do you like throwing a three, three or four cell light bulb when it tracks a slash and running it into a wall somewhere? Because uh, bashing is fun too. Let me know in the comments below. I'll keep up on this video and check to see if anyone has any questions. You can also take a chance to hop over to my channel as well, um, youtube.com slash dvlstang, or you can just look for me, just do a search for Joe Ferguson, you can find me there as well. I think I'll probably also have a link to it in the description below, so you can find me if you want to. Um, but you know what, again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You know, it helps Jeremy and Jamera out a lot. You know, and of course, share this with anybody that you think that could really like the content in here or that this could help them in any way. And, uh, you know, comment, subscribe, like, and share. That's the main four. And, uh, you know, again, come check out my channel, see what I've got on there. I've got lots of build videos, lots of product reviews, uh, not only for racing, but also for scaling. And, of course, I'm always taking requests for things you like. So, again, thanks for checking out the channel, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for helping out Jeremy Jamera. See you guys later.